Hello, welcome back to my studio in a new video. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made the jacket for my 1890s walking ensemble. If you haven't already seen the first two parts of this series, I will link them over here and check them out before you check this out because I talk a lot about the pattern matching process in the second video. Alright, let's get started on this jacket. I attempted to cut the panels of the jacket so that the stripes would line up, but I had major issues doing that, so I just made the front and back panels line up. After cutting the fabric for the jacket, I stitched the darts in the front panel and lining. Then I stitched the interfacing onto the lower front panel and then based it along the placement lines for the closures. I stitched the center back pieces together and stay stitched around the curves of the piece and repeated this process on the lining. Then I added the side back to the back piece and stay stitched along the curved edge. I did it all over again on the lining as well. Then I pressed all the seams open and pinned the designed pattern to the back. Using a water soluble marker, I drew the design onto the back of the jacket. Next, I stitched the interfacing to the collar and the lapels of the jacket. I spent several nights hand sewing the soutache onto the design. Once the hand sewing was done, I returned the collar by sewing the lining into it. Then I attached the collar pieces to the jacket before adding the lining.
For the sleeves, I stitched the pieces together following the markings on the sleeves, added the sleeve lining, and then gathered the top down to fit the armhole. Unfortunately, that's all the footage I have of making this jacket, um, but for the last few steps, I machine st sewed the lining into my entire jacket and I pressed my seams flat. Then for the sleeves, I actually hand stitched the lining over the sleeve closure so that I could have a clean seam inside of my sleeve. I sewed the buttons and the hooks on by hand, which was the final step. Um, I know in the instructions it does say that you hand sew the entire jacket bottom and that could be a little bit of why the pleats don't look exactly perfect. I was rushing to finish this because I had hit a point where I didn't have anything finished for like six weeks and I was like, I want to finish something. So I did take those steps to do that, um, which isn't like the cleanest sewing, but it got the job done and I still like the way it looks. Looking back at this entire project, I wish I hadn't rushed most of the pieces on it. The only thing I really gave the time to do anything on was the skirt. And I think that I would have had it, I think I would have liked the final product a lot more had I not rushed myself. However, my main goal for this was to work on my pattern matching and my stripe matching, and also to work with Soutache, which is something I've never worked with before. And I think I did that pretty well. So I'm calling this project a success, despite all of the failures that happened along the way, because at the end of the day, I still have a garment that I think is really pretty, and I can't wait to shoot it next November during the fall leaves. Um, so yeah. I did have a few issues understanding some of the instructions in the pattern. I thought all of the pattern pieces were fabulous. It's just some of the instructions didn't really make sense. Um, like things like never returning to the pleats and um, little things like that that I'm like, this doesn't really like make sense, but I did it anyway or I tried to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, also the lining, I didn't end up putting lining in the skirt, which is something you're supposed to do and because it was only at the bottom and it was very strange. Um, when I started doing it, I cut all the pieces out and started making the lining and then I just didn't like how the lining was supposed to be handled. So I didn't end up doing any lining. Um, but otherwise I, I did really love this project and I really want to use the pattern again for something else maybe. At least the jacket for sure. I'd love to remake this jacket uh, with a different material that might not have stripes or anything. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you have anything to say. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time.